Today, I'll show you how to export video with the highest quality for uploading to YouTube using DaVinci Resolve. Once inside DaVinci Resolve with our finished video, to start exporting the video, we must go to the DaVinci Resolve Deliver module by clicking on this icon of a rocket. DaVinci Resolve has a preset to export YouTube videos. In the event that you're interested in exporting the video as quickly as possible or uploading it directly to your YouTube account from DaVinci Resolve, now I will explain how to do it. If what you're interested in is exporting your video at maximum quality, you can skip this step, since to achieve maximum quality, we will not use this preset. Having said that, let's see how to export using the YouTube preset. First of all, we must give the video file a name and choose a location to save it. If your timeline is 4K resolution, you should increase the 1080 resolution and choose 4K 3840 by 2160 resolution. The other options that appear are correct. MP4, H264, Auto. In Encoder, we can change High to High 444. To obtain a video with greater color depth, finished. We already have the video ready to export, in case you use YouTube preset. Below everything, we will have an option to be able to upload the video directly to YouTube. I personally recommend uploading the video to YouTube manually, since more options appear on YouTube. In the case of wanting to directly upload the video from DaVinci Resolve, we activate the box. In order to upload the videos directly to YouTube, we must first log in with our YouTube account in DaVinci Resolve. To log in, go to the upper tab, DaVinci Resolve. We click on Preferences. This menu will appear. We have to go to the section Internet Accounts. Here, we can log into YouTube. We simply have to click on Sign In and write the email and password. It's not complicated. Once you've logged into your YouTube account, you will be able to upload the videos from DaVinci Resolve. Now we write the YouTube title and a description for our video. We can also add the chapters using DaVinci Resolve markers and upload the thumbnail of the video. Finally, we choose the visibility of the video and the category. As I've told you before, I recommend uploading the video from YouTube since you will have many more options. Now we go with the part that interests us. Export the video with the highest quality for YouTube. The first step is to select the rendering setting Custom Export to be able to configure all the parameters manually. We start with the easiest. We put a name to our video and we choose in which folder of the computer we want to save it. In Render, we have the options of a single clip and individual clips. We select Single Clip, since we want to export the entire video in a single clip to upload it to YouTube. Well, let's start with the interesting. We go to the Video section. What I'm going to explain now is important for all of you to export videos with black bars. Normally, if we want to export videos that have black bars, like in the video in this example, we must select the correct resolution. That is, a resolution that eliminates the black spaces that we have in the video, like this. But when lowering the vertical resolution and uploading the video to YouTube, we ran into a problem. In this case, I've uploaded the video to YouTube without the black spaces. Now we're going to add the end screens to the video. Wait, what's this? The aspect ratio of your video is not valid. Come on. YouTube doesn't let you put final screens. No, you can't. If you want to upload a video with black bars and end screens on YouTube, you have to export the video, including the black spaces. Okay, after this tip for filmmakers, let's move on to rendering settings. In format, we select MP4. According to the official YouTube recommendation, we must upload the video in an MP4 container. But if you use DaVinci Resolve on Windows, you're going to have a problem. And the truth is something that doesn't make any sense. Today, it seems that Blackmagic Design doesn't want to solve it. If we export the video in MP4 format, it will only let us export the audio with a data rate of 192 kilobytes per second. It's a very, very slow bitrate, which means that when exporting the video, we will have worse audio quality. As you can see, YouTube recommends an audio bitrate of 384 kilobytes per second. 
and DaVinci Resolve only allows us to export at 192 kilobytes per second. It doesn't make any sense that it only lets us export at this data rate. This is something that only happens on Windows. If you have a Mac, you can export MP4 with much higher audio quality. If you have Windows, like me, it's better that you do not export an MP4, since you will lose a lot of audio quality. As an alternative, instead of exporting the video in MP4, we can choose the format QuickTime. In the QuickTime format, it does allow us to change the audio codec. We can use codecs with much higher quality. For example, we can select Linear PCM, which is an uncompressed audio format so you won't lose any quality when exporting the video. Okay, since I use Windows, I'm going to select the QuickTime format. If you're using a Mac, choose MP4 format. In Codec, YouTube recommends us to upload the video in H.264. We select the same resolution and frame rate as our timeline. In my case, it's 4K DCI and 25 images per second. In quality, we can select automatic and make sure that it's the highest quality. Or we can also choose the option restrict kilobytes per second. I recommend this second option. Here we have the official recommendation of YouTube on the bit rate of the videos. The bit rate depends on the video resolution. If our video is 4K, 8K, 1080, and also the frame rate per second, if our video has a frame rate of 24, 25, or 30 frames per second, or 48, 50, 60 frames per second. For example, my video has a 4K resolution and a frame rate of 25 images per second. Therefore, I must export the video between 35 to 45 megabytes per second. Important, megabytes per second, not kilobytes per second. In DaVinci Resolve, it appears in kilobytes per second. 45 megabytes would be 45,000 kilobytes. Perfect. Although YouTube recommends this bitrate, I advise putting a little more. Let's put 65,000. Next, in the encoding profile, we select High or High 444. How can we check YouTube recommends us high profile? It also recommends us to use two consecutive B frames and a variable bit rate. So we're going to modify this in DaVinci Resolve. Well, in the rate control section, and we choose variable as YouTube tells us. Perfect. The next step is to have the enable adaptive B frame option activated. And following the advice of YouTube, we must put two consecutive keyframes. In the look ahead frames section, we put two. We only have the last step left. We must display the menu, Advanced Settings. I always recommend activating this option since we can get a little more quality in some videos. We have to look for the option, Force Sizing to Highest Quality. Enabling this option will increase the quality of lower resolution videos. Well, we have finished configuring everything in the video section. In the audio section, as I mentioned before, if you use Windows, choose the linear PCM format. If you use Mac, export in MP4 and increase the data rate of the audio. Perfect. Once we've finished configuring everything, it's advisable to save this export setting. So we don't have to configure it over and over again every time we want to export a video for YouTube. We click on these three points and select the option of Save as New Preset. We choose a name for this export setting. I'm going to put Configuration for YouTube. We click Accept. Now we will have a preset with the YouTube settings. So the next time you go to export a video, you just have to click on the preset. Now do you see if we select the preset, the exact same configuration appears, which we've done before. This way we save a lot of time. Great, now I name the video file and choose the location. We add the video to the render queue and click Render All. Before adding the video to the render queue, make sure you have all the video selected for export. That is, this gray bar up here 
should select the entire video. And we would already have our video to upload to YouTube. I hope this tutorial and the tips have been useful to you. As always, here I leave you the free DaVinci Resolve course, where you will learn to do a lot of effects and improve your video. See you in the next video.